Farming is such a fun thing to do, especially where there are aircrafts involved. In this video, we will be interacting with a very interesting type of an aircraft. Let's find out which one it is. Our landing gears today are locked on the greens literally on a fancy project by Fahari Aviation. I was excited to be on board with the boys and one of the girls who make drone flying such a cool thing. We found ourselves on the edge of Nairobi County, packed with all the gear for today's intriguing flight. Alright, we are currently at uh, Kamulu Farm. Um, what we have at the farm currently is French beans. So. Today we'll be spraying um, some in insecticides and, uh, herb and uh, fungicides and uh, also we'll be spreading fertilizer. So the piece of land is five acres divided into various blocks. So block one and block two full of French beans as you can see. And then we have further um, crops that are at a different stage over at block five and block six. If you can see in the horizon right over there, there's an aircraft that's taking. So we're on the flight path from Jomo Kenyatta. Right below us are beans. Once these beans are ready, we'll be having them with rice, and that's RB, rice and beans. We'll have to recalibrate the aircrafts, and then once we recalibrate them, we will put in some fertilizer and then va va voom all these beans and much more will be full of fertilizer amazing things right this is the t30 agras t30 which we use for our agricultural spraying seeding and spreading so today we are going to be working on this farm to do exactly that to be uh, spraying and also doing some spreading of uh, the fertilizer within this farm what is capability its capability is it's able to carry 30 liters of uh, the fat of the liquid and anything else that uh, we'll be putting into the into the entire drone so the maximum takeoff weight it can lift in terms of the payload is 30 liters of anything of liquid of fertilizer of seeds and etc it's quite a massive drone you've got here it's massive extremely massive could literally fly this take off and go wherever but if it can carry 30 kilos i'm not 30 kilos i'm slightly above 30 kilos so this not for me maybe for someone who weighs 30 kilos that's about what two toddlers hanging on it after having lunch and what's happening right now is that they're filling it up with water to clear out any impurities that were there before seeing that they're going to fill it up with new fertilizer uh, to spray the farm that's right to my left over here so this is the battery and we insert it right there quite heavy almost a few kilos to lift it up and put it in place how can you tell whether it's got charge so we press right here to check the charge and you can see, you already see the rotors moving, which ah. means the battery is at 25% level at the moment. 25%? Yes. Good. 25%. All right, so we're ready to take off, Mutuma, aren't we? Uh, well, we are not ready. <laughs> we need to check for the status of the aircraft first. We need to check for any updates so that we can have it ready for takeoff. If you look at the bottom here, this is where you have the spring, the sprayers the liquid comes all the way through these pipes and they spray all over so on all the on the rotors you'll find a pair of spray or sprayers and if it takes 10 minutes to be up in the skies does it 
warn you that you run out of battery. Yes, you can uh, actually view your battery percentage and also your liquid percentage from your controller as we'll be able to see as we do the demo run. So you, it warns you when you have um, uh, the minimum amount of charge that you need to land. So it'll let you know. And how long does it take to charge the battery? The battery takes around 8 to 10 minutes to fully charge from 0 to 100%. Fantastic. Right, I'll be gearing up, I'll be wearing my PPEs for mixing the chemicals that we're going to be using today. So while they're setting up, I need to give you a brief uh, run of what Fahari Aviation is all about. This link that I've posted over here will give you that and what it takes to fly a drone. Fahari Aviation was actually set up for people like you and I who are aviation enthusiasts to learn more about flying a drone in Kenya. And it's quite interesting because it takes more than just flying a drone. You need to have the qualifications needed, both health and your wealth capacity your brain capacity and it's very very easy the course takes what three weeks for you to learn yes it does three weeks and you're good to go now back to my friends who are setting up the drone let's see what they have in store so this is the flight folio of the drone whereby we fill in the details of the drone just as you do for an aircraft we fill in the details of the battery before flight and then after flight Therefore, we can get any details regarding any maintenance or any rectification we need to do and also to just keep track of the number of light hours we've done for that particular drone. So here I'll be filling in the name of the crew. In this environment, we're looking at a few obstacles. We're looking at trees. The observer should, be, should stand out to look out for such eventualities and inform the pilot in charge. Seems everything is ready and while I was appreciating the beans, the Fahari aviation teams actually getting themselves uh, ready on where to set up their drone. Apparently they'll be flying two drones, the big boy or the big drone, and then they'll be flying the smaller one as well. So as to get some really cool aerial shots. <laughs> Uh, seems we are ready for takeoff, I think. Um, almost. Almost ready for takeoff. It'll be so fascinating to see this go up. Okay. Ready to go? So, ready for flight. We've started our pre flight checklist. Uh, safety first. We have to check the weather. Uh, we'll turn out to our safety officer to begin the safety. Uh, measurements and then we can now proceed with the rest of the pre-flight checklist related to the aircraft. The alternate landing area, um, the emergency landing area will be to our right, will be to the open space to the right. In case we are not able to land at this point of location of the takeoff, we'll be able to land at the open space to our right. Pilot in command ready for takeoff? Ready for takeoff. Okay, there is that massive drone doing its thing. So cool! Wow! <laughs> wow! I actually feel the droplets of the fertilizer. Need to have my mask on. Mm. Yeah, need to move away. How 
cool is that? Boom! Very, very cool. We see you on the next video.